This lesson helps you understand dimensional analysis, a method for converting units of measure. First, you have to remember two things you learned from fractions. First, cross-canceling. If you multiply a whole number times a fraction like this, you can cross-cancel the sevens, and you get three. If you multiply two fractions like this, you can cross-cancel the threes, and you get two over five. In dimensional analysis, you do the same thing, but with units. For example, if you multiply feet times inches over feet, feet cancel, and you get inches. If you multiply miles over hours times hours over seconds, hours cancel, and you get miles over seconds instead of miles over hours. The second thing to remember about fractions are equivalent fractions. When you multiply 1 half by 5 over 5, you get 5 over 10. These two fractions are equivalent. They have the same value because you multiplied by 5 over 5, which is equal to 1. In dimensional analysis, you do the same thing. You multiply by unit ratios that are equal to 1. For example, if 1 foot equals 12 inches, then 12 inches over 1 foot, or 1 foot over 12 inches, are unit ratios equal to 1. So let's see how this is going to work. If you begin with 8 feet and you want to convert to inches, you would multiply by 12 inches over 1 foot. Feet cancel out, and you have 96 inches. Beginning with 72 inches, and you want to convert to feet, multiply by 1 foot over 12 inches, inches cancel for 6 feet. If you have a rate like 60 miles per hour, multiply by 5,280 feet over 1 mile. Miles cancel, and you have feet per hour. You can continue the conversion. Multiply by one hour over 3,600 seconds. Hours cancel for feet per second. So, 60 miles per hour equals 88 feet per second. Now, you might think this is a waste of time. You already know about inches, feet, and miles. However, what if you had to convert units you didn't know very much about? For example, let's say you start with 12 alphas and you want to convert them to betas. If you know that one beta equals three alphas, you would multiply by one beta over three alphas. The alphas cancel, and you have 12 alphas is equal to 12 divided by three equals four betas. So you can see, you can convert units of measure 
even when you don't understand what they mean. This lesson helped you understand dimensional analysis. And this lesson was brought to you by the Math Fun Academy. It's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new math and new equations, to boldly go where no math student has gone before.